Previously, I was able to salvage a fair amount of my tools I made from scratch that were burned in my workshop fire, but there are still a few crucial tools needed for making more tools and items that were also destroyed in the fire, namely my kiln and propane forge. In this video, I'm going to attempt to repair them myself, see if the effort is worth the cost or if I was just better off replacing them. All right, so here we have our pottery kiln. Unfortunately, it did not do too well in the fire. The good news is that it is intended to run at very high temperatures in the fire itself. So the inside components, where it normally gets hot, are pretty much all intact. All the insulation is pretty much undamaged, and the elements in the thermocouple all look pretty good. The big damage was just on the outside, and the worst part of that is the, the actual electronics part. Looked around, and there's not really an option to just buy this component. Actual device is pretty simple. Basically, we have the heating elements. You run power through it, they get hot. Um, the controller just uh, has is attached to a thermocouple, which measures the temperature. And then you set a target temperature, and if you are currently above it, it turns it off. And if you're below it, it turns it on. And it just kind of cycles through that to try and regulate the temperature. My goal is to try and build my own controller using a Raspberry Pi. You know, take this apart, remove all the damaged components, make sure everything still looks good, try and clean it up as much as possible, and then attach it with a Raspberry Pi. Starting price to basically replace one of these, paid roughly $1,000 for this kiln. Um, it's a decent window to try and replace it. But in the end, it should be a, a decent upgrade for uh, not a too expensive. So let's see how well that goes. And the first step is gonna be taking everything apart, cleaning it up as best as possible, and uh, I'm gonna start attaching the new electronics to getting that programmed.
But first, real quick, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Anyone who's been watching our show knows the value we place in the pursuit of higher knowledge. And that is the exact benefit you get by using Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of aspiring and creative classes for anyone who loves learning. So I tried out a few different classes on programming Raspberry Pis for the very specific need I had of using it as a controller for our kill. It's not something I've really done before and it's uh, not, not really something I have any experience with. So what's really useful is Skillshare where I can find a large variety of different videos where I can learn some of the skills and get used to using a Raspberry Pi so I can use it in uh, rebuilding my kill. First 1,000 of our viewers who use our code or click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start unlocking your creativity today. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Before I get into the electronics of my kiln, let's get the forge repaired. Today I'm gonna to try and recover the propane forge. So what I have here is the Mbox forge that was unfortunately caught in the fire and is pretty much toast right now. So this forge was donated to us by Adri, who has appeared in a few of our videos. So it's made out of an ammo box and it's been a pretty effective forge. This is what I first started on when I was doing my own blacksmithing before we got the brick forge built. And the overall design of it is pretty simple. It basically shoots propane, mix it with air, to produce a high flame. And the whole thing is designed to operate at a pretty high temperature. So a lot of the main components of it haven't really been too damaged. This is a lot of the more outer things that aren't supposed to get quite so hot that uh, will just need to be replaced and repaired. Some issues facing are that like the holes burned off. A lot of the mechanics here for turning it on and off are probably not quite the greatest. And then the whole thing just rusted, mostly from probably the firefighting after a lot of the protective oxide on the outside of it burned off. Online, a brand new forge like this costs somewhere around $150 from what I found. I think we can salvage it for less, and I'm pretty confident about this one. So let's give it a shot and see if it ends up actually being worth the time to restore it versus just buying a brand new one. <laughs> Forge up and running, let's get back to the kiln.
After a bit of work, I now have both of these guys back up and running. Took a fair amount of labor to remove all of the, the rust off of everything. Forge was a little bit easier to do the recovery. It was just a lot of basic rust removal and then given a new paint job. In total, it took roughly four hours to just do all of the repairs and everything. And I did have to buy a few new parts with the valve and the hose. So that was about $44 for that. So the estimate for just buying a brand new forge of both the styles, around $180 I saw doing all the manual labor myself and restoring it and just replacing a few parts. It ended up costing about $78 if I pay myself minimum wage. The kiln, however, has proved to be a little bit more of a hassle, and that's pretty much exclusively because of the Raspberry Pi. It has taken a bit to reprogram it, figure out how to get everything connected and running and operating program. So the Raspberry Pi offers a lot of solutions. They have a nice little touch interface here, rather than just like two buttons, you have to scroll through so many different things. So you can create your own cycle really easily and then run it. You really don't even need the control. It could be run uh, entirely remotely from your phone. Actually, the programming of it was quite a hassle. A lot of back and forth. It ended up frying a Raspberry Pi and having to switch to uh, Another one I happen to have lying around. So a bit of tweaking I still have left to do. Ended up being a bit of a pain to actually finally get it running. So be very cautious running this guy. It really would be unfortunate to have any kind of fire. So with all the extra time it took to troubleshoot the, the kind of technical issues with that, it ended up driving the cost up for this. However, this was probably the most expensive single item that was inside the garage and lost. Retail price to replace at almost $1,000. So I never was able to find uh, just a replacement controller. They sell it for larger models, but not the small one. That I think they just want you to buy a brand new one. Rather than spending at least $1,000 for another kiln, cleaning everything off took about six hours, a little bit more tedious than the forge, and then actually programming it took a good few days. So it was something like 20 hours and I'm still not fully there getting it perfectly working. Then the, the parts uh, at around $350. For the Raspberry Pi, the screen, having to buy a few components twice, new cord, switch, etc. etc. That came out to $350 with the 26 hours of labor. That's uh, an extra $220. So that comes out to about $570, which uh, is still almost half the price of buying a brand new one. It's coming up pretty close to the price there. And that's it's just because it takes a lot of a lot of time to actually figure out what I'm doing. Just heating things in general is pretty important. So it's nice to be able to build my own custom kilns rather than just uh, breaking them all the time and overpaying to replace them. So, useful skills learned, money saved. I think that's pretty good. Hoping to get back into uh, our actual regular content here. Still rebuilding the workshop. Things for rebuilding have slowed down a little bit, but it has started. Now we've basically cleared out the roof and all the rubble. Things are, are moving forward a little slower than I'd like, but I hope to be back up and running pretty quick here. So pretty excited about that. We've got some exciting new videos coming up pretty soon. Thanks again to all of our supporters on Patreon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.